Join us as we make our way through the double roundabouts on State Route 619 or Edison Street in beautiful Hartville, Ohio. Sit back and relax as we transition through each approach of the two roundabouts. Be sure to pay mindful attention to the advanced notifications of the street signs and pavement markings as you let go of the wheel and let us do the driving. The first approach is a westbound right turn into the Hartville Flea Market and Harvard driveway. Notice the outside lane is a dedicated right turn only. Next, we take you through the roundabout to westbound State Route 619. Notice the inside lane is either the through movement or a left onto Kings Church Avenue. Now we take you through the left turn onto Kings Church Avenue. Take particular notice of the crosswalk and yield signs cautioning you for the potential of pedestrians and oncoming vehicles. Heading southbound out of the Hartville Hardware and Flea Market Drive, we make a right turn onto State Route 619 westbound. Once again, we have a dedicated right turn only lane. In this case, we have a solid white lane line continuing in, through, and out of the roundabout, making for what should be an unobstructed merger. Taking the southbound through movement to Kings Church Avenue, we are staying in the interior lane. Your options here are the through movement or a left turn onto eastbound State Route 619, as indicated by the signs and the pavement markings. The left lane adds a small wrinkle. In the roundabout, we add a through lane. However, recommendations suggest staying in the interior lane of the roundabout to exit through to eastbound State Route 619. Lane adjustments, any movement between interior to exterior lanes, should be done once you've exited the roundabout. The eastbound State Route 619 right turn onto Kings Church Avenue is taken from the outside or exterior lane. Signs and pavement markings suggest this is a right turn or a through movement lane. Now, Taking that same outside or exterior lane, we make the through movement to eastbound State Route 619. Remember to yield to oncoming traffic, for we cannot assume their movements. However, in this moment, we can demonstrate why the recommendation for the southbound left is to remain in the interior lane to exit eastbound. We will make the same eastbound State Route 619 movement through to eastbound State Route 619, but this time from the interior lane. Once in the roundabout, we stay in the interior lane to exit the roundabout. And after having exited the roundabout, we can make any necessary lane adjustments from there.
remaining in the interior lane, we make the left turn onto the Hartville Hardware or Flea Market driveway. Keeping a sure distance and yielding to oncoming vehicles, we then smoothly transition in, through, and out of the roundabout, going northbound. The northbound Kings Church Avenue approach is a single lane access to the roundabout. Notice the ample roadway signage offering detailed directional information. Here we make a right turn onto State Route 619 eastbound. The King's Church Avenue through movement gives us an opportunity to remind drivers that a yield sign does not always require the driver to stop. It simply means you must give way to oncoming traffic. If there is no oncoming traffic, you should freely be able to continue your movement without hesitation. The left turn to State Route 619 westbound shows in real time a proper yield movement where oncoming traffic takes the right turn onto King's Church. We pause long enough to verify the oncoming traffic commits to exiting the roundabout before we enter. Having completed all four approaches for the Eastern Roundabout, we move on to the Sister Roundabout to the West. Here we'll be making a right turn onto Kaufman Avenue going northbound. We transition into the exterior lane of westbound State Route 619, which switches into a dedicated right turn only lane for Kaufman Avenue. Now we take on the through movement from westbound State Route 619 to westbound State Route 619. As indicated, this takes place from the interior lane. Your options here are the through movement or a U-turn around the roundabout to eastbound State Route 619. Here we exited going westbound. The single lane approach from Kaufman Avenue to the roundabout offers smooth transitions to either the current right turn to westbound State Route 619 or the following left turn around the roundabout to the eastbound State Route 619. As you will see, we bring back the wrinkle of a secondary through lane added in the roundabout. Once again, the recommendation is to remain in the interior roundabout lane until you exit the roundabout to make any future lane adjustments. The final leg of the roundabouts on State Route 619 is from the two lanes of eastbound State Route 619. The first is the outside exterior through lane. We've extended these clips to demonstrate the ease of transition from one roundabout to the next. Here you will see that the through lane has a solid white line in, through, and out of the roundabout.
Moving on to the inside lane, you will notice it is intended for the through movement to eastbound State Route 619 or a left turn through the roundabout to Kaufman Avenue northbound. During this extended cut, you will notice the additional signs with suggested speed limits and advanced notifications of a roundabout ahead and the potential to yield. You will see these signs before all of the legs of the roundabout entrances. Back in the interior lane of eastbound State Route 619, we will now make the left turn movement on to Kaufman Avenue northbound. It is suggested all vehicles continue to use your turn signals when exiting a roundabout. This is a courtesy that knows no bounds and helps other drivers successfully navigate roundabouts. With our final closing movement, we would like to remind all drivers that if the moment comes where confusion sets in, the most accommodating feature of a roundabout is that you can always end up where you begin. And that gives us a great opportunity to watch both roundabouts function as one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share it, like it, and comment if you have anything you would like to ask or share with us. Additionally, we have links to other roundabout videos, including non-narrated versions, if you're in the mood.